Hi teachers, in this video, you'll learn how to make your worksheets more of an interactive activity. So I know I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, worksheets like this or um, all different subject areas. I wanna show you a way you can use Google Slides and make your worksheets more fun uh, in place of your worksheets. So for example, this is a cool idea for a money activity. So instead of this kind of thing, you might create a template that looks like this and share it in Google Classroom so that each of your kids have a copy of it and they can click and drag or type in answers. So for example, on this activity, I believe this is a first grade activity, it looks like this and the kids simply click and drag the pennies and uh, the dimes and nickels and quarters into the piggy bank. And there's a lot of different examples here of uh, our different questions for them to do. And in the end, you could ask them a couple of questions also if you wanted them to type something. So let's talk about how we can make something like this in place of the worksheet. So I'm gonna just start a new template here. Uh, this is just Google Slides, kind of like PowerPoint. And what I, I'm going to first just delete these extra boxes. And I'm going to start by adding an image. So what's great about Google Slides is that they have images built in. And you can also search the web for images. So I'm going to click Insert and hover over Image and click Search the Web. And I'm going to find a pig clip art to start off with. And then I'm just going to search for the one that I like the best. Oh, here's one with a piggy bank. So I'm going to click that. I double clicked to insert. Uh, you can also click insert at the very bottom. And then all I'm going to do is if you want to, you can add a title here, insert um, text box. Uh, but I'm going to just kind of move on really quickly just to kind of continue this tutorial. I'm going to change the view where I can see this sidebar because in that other one you saw where we could see the side. So I'm going to click view. And right now the zoom is at 62%. I'm going to change it like pull it back a little bit to 50%. So I have some space here. So what I'm going to do now is just insert some coin images. So I'm going to do an image search on the web a penny and I can even find the a real penny again you can double click it or you can click insert and that penny will pop in we'll just have to adjust the sizing there and I'm going to put that here for my kids to click and drag um, you can train them to do a right click um, or use the keyboard to copy and paste or if you want you can paste a whole bunch of them here you don't have to make it look all pretty like that other template although you can take the time to do that um, so I hope this has been helpful what you would do after creating this is give it a little title money activity and again add some additional slides you can even duplicate the slides so you don't have to keep creating so you can come here and duplicate the slide and just give them a different question each time um, so that way again you don't have to keep doing the coins over and over again the coins are there um, and once you have a title on it you're going to pop over to your google classroom click create assignment give it a title and this time I'm going to click add and a Google Drive product is what I'm going to use uh, because it's from Google Slides. And so here's my money activity. I'm going to click on it and click add. And then remember the key is to make this where every student can type in it. And to do that, you're going to adjust this setting um, to make a copy for each student. Now each one of my students will be able to complete that activity by clicking and dragging those monies into those coins into the piggy bank and uh, then turning that into me. So uh, then I would would just want to assign that activity. So think about ways that you can change up some of your um, worksheet types type activities and make some fun activities that are interactive like this. Uh, remember you have your teammates there that can help you and you can easily share these templates so that not everybody has to create them and you can kind of share the workload. So I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions moving forward.